Guys, it's been now. Lots of uneventful parts, but we have gotten to the big, bad geothermal cave. First scan is that thing. That is the puddle spore. The puddle spore basically is a little platform. You just upside down, so just fire into him when his mouth is open. This ledge is long enough to jump to without touching the lava, so I don't know what's with it. Uh, other than that, uh, just another tunnel with that. They want you to use your wave beam. Uh, whoa, that was horrible. 97 frames, man. 90. Oh gosh, that was an that was awful. Uh, I recommend you use your uh, ice beam missile trick. By the way, apparently they fly in the direction they approach it. So anyway, scan this machine. The machine says it's functional, but it's not receiving power. You know what that means? Go into your, uh, go in here and use your wave beam to activate the power. There is power in these three areas. Considering the amount of heat, these rocks aren't even hot the least bit. <laughs> Uh, the other ones is in here. Uh, and now, the three generated thingy, the three points give power. There's actually three tunnels. That also cools the lava, which is awesome. And what you gotta do here is you gotta, you gotta go through each of these three tunnels. So yeah, there's three tunnels. You got the green one, you got the orange one, I think, or it's purple, and then you got a blue one. You basically go go into them and activate the switch as fast. And watch out, that's a triclops. Oh, but I blew him up. Uh, so you go into the first one and then you get out and you scan the thing. Now, the next channel will open up. Wait for the cutscene to finish. Yay, it's all cold. Okay, and you gotta go. Remember, it's this one over here. There are two triclops in there, by the way. Okay, let's keep going. Nope, nope, no, nope, nope. Only do it once. And then scan it. And then the other one. And the other one cools. Ah, uh, so you gotta go into there. Ooh. Boom up. And then you can go in here, and then there's just energy tank, energy tank number eight. It doesn't tell you when you pass 50% of items, I don't think. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Don't correct me on that. You'll probably find out within one of in this pile or the next. Uh, now we're gonna go through here, which goes to a part of Fendrana Drifts, the only other tunnel. The Drone Drift only has two, uh, two transport areas. Just go through the random tunnel. Look at the elevator and wave beam is cool. Wow. And if you want, you can look behind there and there's a save station directly behind the transport lift. Okay, so anyway. Scan the machine, and off we go. <laughs> it's the ambient music that does the trick. Ah, so we're in the Fendron the Drifts. Ah. Uh, if you're wondering where on earth we are, there is a tunnel. You know that tunnel that I didn't go to? There's a tunnel that leads from uh, here, here, which we wouldn't go to, to here. So we kind of cut ahead a little bit, which is okay. Uh, so we're gonna go up this spider, this funky spider ball track. Whoa! I'm gonna ice beam the door, and now we're gonna. Watch out for the Pulse Bombu, which does not die from Ice Beam, probably because it just dodges out of blast anyway. Okay, 
keep walking and we are into the frozen pike. The frozen pike is a big room and it's a bit confusing to navigate because there are four doors in it. So we're going to go into the second door from the bottom which is the, the two doors facing that direction. The, the, on the it's it, Technically it's the one above water if you want to, the one just above the water. There's nobody in here yet, but believe me, someone will find us. Uh, this is the, yeah, this is it. Because there's water there. And the other one's below the water. Go along the passageway. Watch out for the ice beetles. Hooray, man, nice beetle. Oh. I didn't even get hit by anything as well, that's how much damage they took. Uh, the guide says there's a, there is an enemy in here, there are two enemies, there's only one. Uh, it's called a glider. The glider basically just flies around. He doesn't hurt you. Yay, another enemy that doesn't hurt us. Uh, we are going to go into the door on the right here. But first, we must solve the puzzle. I guess, uh, there is a missileable stalactite up there. So stalagmites come from the ground, these ones would come from the ceiling. Uh, this is the one that goes straight forward, so we don't want to go here, we want to go... We want to get the... Oh, snap. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, we want to get the one above. Yeah, we want to get the one all the way up there. I'm probably just completely not doing this right. You know, that looks like a perfect spot for a stalactite to land. Probably is a stalactite, right? Yep. Right there, and I can't target it because it's targetable on the other side. They make the jump just so you can't reach. I don't, where do I select it from? I stood on both sides of the thing and I can't select it. I can't even select the dang thing. I was just going to miss all you anyway. That's not gonna work. Uh, you do that later. Yeah, like, you can't do it now, so don't do it now. Do it later. Oh no! Fail! This room is giving me the most trouble. Oh gosh. Oh no. I hate rooms that give me trouble. Anyway, just a simple story short, do that. Ah, that hurt! I got hit by a stalactite today. And save station. <laughs> I hate this guide. It points you towards every save station. Ugh, this is like I just went through all that effort just for a save station. Mm. Okay, anyway, to the other door. Take big jump. Uh, that was weird. The sound played for a jump, but I didn't jump. Okay, go through the tunnel, go through the tunnel, go through the tunnel, go through the tunnel, using lots of boost balls. Blah, seashell. <laughs> oh, this is the room. This is Fendrana's Edge. There are only two doors, but this is an important room. Sometimes the map looks like it's it's behind you and then it goes underneath, which is a weird thing, but it's really going on top. It's just that it's an oblique map. Actually no, it's the angle sometimes. Sometimes the angle actually flips underneath the room. Oh gosh, it's just me! It's just me! <laughs> Uh, so I can't tell, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do, we're going to, uh, what are we gonna do, oh, we're gonna jump in the water, 
Ah, watch out. Watch out, it is Hunter Pikes. Or Jet Sacks. Hunter Pikes are later. Watch out, they're firing the lasers. Bah! No worries, just these dudes. Now we're back in tunnel. By the way, yeah, more fall, because there's a weirdly crushed section. Oh no, not more of these! There are three stalactites, all three of them are, at, are shootable from this ledge. It also seems to kill some of these birds. Hooray! Uh, using these three stalactites. Ah! Damn kids! Oh no. Uh, yeah, so this is Hunter Cave. We are meant to take the lower door on the right because we are going to get an awesome item within four minutes. And it's a really helpful awesome item as well. Because uh, you know how we're going so slowly in water, we can also not jump that high. Ah, uh, yeah, these are Aqua Reapers. <laughs> you know these things. Don't even have to shoot them for you. They also apparently. Oh! Sometimes your your interface is scrambled. Uh, so yeah, just jump down, jump up the ledge. If you can't see much, that's because that we can't see far in water. I guess they do suck you in. Oh no, my interface! <laughs> and what do you know? Where we just find this cell in the absolute nowhere? So yeah, uh. OMG IT'S PURPLE! <laughs> so yeah, apparently the suit turned slightly purple. And with that purple suit, it is called the gravity suit. Here yeah, you can change gravity to anything you want. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it really only allows you to walk in water. Uh, it doesn't say, and people don't realize it, but your vision is also improved. For example, you, you can see further now. You can you, you can see further. Uh, by the way, that's what gel saps do. They pretty much try and suck you in. Uh, so with this, we can also move normally on the water. In a uh, Prime Two, I believe it's not a suit itself. It's more so an item. So yeah, with that, we can jump up onto this ledge, and I probably not, I'm not even going up. Oh, yep, there we go. I knew I was going the right way. Oh yeah. Look, I see up. Oh, I guess it's not ice water. Jeez, I'm never listening to myself again. Uh, so with that, we can get to the top of the room. Remember, don't fall into any of the water. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding! You just dropped so many more frames. Ice Beam doesn't really do much other than just deals a lot more damage, which is, I guess, a bit easier, better. Uh. So yeah, that is that room basically just has two entrances. Oh, note the space pirates randomly flying in this tiny room. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. Well, he's trying to—he's trying to hit me from like firing this. I was a bit too close to the ceiling. Uh, so where are we gonna go? We are going to go this way, right? Absolutely correct. We are not going this way, even though, even though as convenient as it looks, we're gonna go. Where are we, where are we even gonna go? It says take lower door on right. No wait, hunt K up. Oh, yeah, we're going the right way. So I just go through this door, and this door leads us back to the frozen pipe. Why is this weird series of doors? Like, look at this. You got a door that leads to a room, that leads to a room, that leads to another room, which leads back to the first room. 
They got in that last room, they got a room which leads back to it. <laughs> I don't even know what's with that. Uh, watch out for all the gel saps, they'll pretty much destroy your user interface. Other than that, you can just walk through. Because we've got really nothing to do. For a little while, I thought I freaked out because I thought I saw the part that we went overboard, but I guess we uh, we're only about. Oh, uh, we're gonna. I might as well kill these guys and. By the way, when they're doing that, they're a bit easier to hit, even if, unless if they're on a distance and stop moving. Okay, so so have fun, guys. We'll see you guys next part. Next part, we're gonna we are going to do the big exploration thing. Okay, must end the part. See ya.